It is a first alert weather day. Fox News' Andy Carson is live this morning at a place that looks very, yes. very refreshing. You're on Lake Oswego, right, Andy? I am uh, right here along the uh, Willamette River, and uh, there is just enough chill in the air that I need a light little jacket. But I'm ready with my short pants a little bit later on. We'll be uh, good to go when those uh, temperatures really start to uh, shoot on up there. Let's talk real quick about uh, some of the uh, heat headlines we have going on. The fact that we are under a heat advisory yet again today. So uh, keep an eye on that. This entire area that's highlighted in the orange under that heat advisory. That goes through this evening. Um, and so uh, just be prepared for temperatures anywhere from the... Uh, mainly the upper 80s all the way up to 100 degrees. Uh, of course, the uh, 80s will be closer towards the uh, coast range there. Current temperatures that we have around the northwest, 48 Tillamook, 51 Pacific City, 63 PDX, 55 down in McMinnville, 62 Salem. In the gorge, we're in the mid-50s, 60 at Government Camp. Right now out in Hermiston, it's uh, 55 degrees. So the forecast that we have at the coast today, we will see uh, some areas of morning clouds, even some patchy fog. Then we'll work our way towards a sunny afternoon. Look at that, mainly in the 70s again, up to 78 Astoria, 70 Lincoln City. Newport will be cooler at 60 degrees. Northwest winds 10 to 15 gusting 20 miles per hour. That first alert weather day in effect for the valley with the sunshine and highs into the mid to even upper 90s. In fact, Salem and Albany should hit about 99 and then 97 in Portland. We go up to the Mount Hood area. Hot and hazy up there. Uh, we will see, actually the gorge, I should say, uh, we'll see highs of 96, Multnomah Falls, 97, Cascade Locks and uh, Hood River. The Dow should go to 100 degrees. East winds 10 to 15, uh, gusting uh, to about 20 miles per hour. And then up at Mount Hood, hazy sunshine there. 93, the high Welches. Uh, we'll go to 83 at the past, 73 degrees at Timberline. And then finally, for central and eastern Oregon, uh, we'll see a pretty warm one over there, up to 91 in Bend, 95 Madras and Pendleton. Into the mid-80s for Baker City. Seven-day forecast, we see a little relief tomorrow. Highs only in the low 90s instead of the upper 90s. And then mid-80s for Friday, Saturday, with some morning clouds, afternoon sunshine. Up to 88 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, both days will go up to around 84 degrees. Now, yesterday, yesterday we saw a little smoke in the air. Today, seeing that again, is that also maybe combined with a little firework smoke? For details on that, let's go to Jeff. Yeah, it could be, Andy, depending on what neighborhood you're in. Um, you can definitely see the haze out there from the Shriners Children's Cam in Portland. But uh, most of the smoke is aloft. It's up in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. So in most cases, it's okay to get outdoors like Andy is. But you can see that one air quality monitoring station in the metro area is reporting unhealthy air quality. Um, the air is kind of settled down. We don't have much of a breeze out there. The wind will pick up later today, but I'm also seeing unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups up in the Longview Kelso area. A wide view shows that most of us are in the good to moderate range. So in most cases, you can get outside and breathe the air just fine. Uh, a couple of fires broke out in western Washington yesterday. Look at the air quality closer to the Seattle metro area. We're seeing unhealthy to very unhealthy air quality in some cases up there. So it's that time of year, unfortunately. And we do have red flag warnings highlighting the critical fire danger along and west of the Cascades today. Already have one fire burning across from Hood River. That's the Tunnel 5 fire. The wind, as Andy pointed out, will be relatively light. It's going to be coming out of the east, pushing to the west. But late today, heading into tomorrow, the onshore wind will be picking up out of the west pushing to the east and unfortunately the wind is going to be turning gusty uh, Thursday and Friday around the Tunnel 5 fire. So I think the firefight could turn a bit more difficult. Now we do have some residual wildfire smoke in the lowest levels of the atmosphere. The wind will pick up later today. That'll help to clear out the air a bit. But I think the smoke is going to probably pick up on the east end of the gorge as we get into Thursday and Friday afternoons with that westerly wee uh, breeze picking up uh, as we wrap up the week. Tony?